Okay, so today we are going to look at well this heavy thing. So this is an MSI GeForce RTX whoa, 2070 Super. So this is the highest end of its time, the Gaming X. It has been replaced by the Supreme X, but you can easily see a lot of cues. Like, just look at this back plate over here. It looks so similar to the recent Supreme X cards. Anyways, it's going to be a very interesting journey just to check out how this thing performs in 2022. And I mean, this is already four years old. So let us test this in a bunch of games, synthetic benchmarks and check out how this graphics card holds up. And also in the future, we will be comparing it to the 3070, which is like the next generation version of this thing. Oh, and this thing, well, it's not mine. Here is a very special guest of ours. He's actually a very good friend of mine. You need to check out his blog. Uh, it's hardwarepurpose.com. So what do you think about your graphics card? Well, you can't really get it to such a fresh card in 2022. Yeah, it's really clean. I mean, is it an RMA piece? It is actually. If you just see the sticker here, which one? Okay, so this OK tested. So MSI uses these stickers in their RMA. Mm -hmm. uh, so this means the card was uh, RMA. Piece. So I mean, the 2070 Super, it does not sell like uh, new these days. You'll have to pick up in the second-hand market, and you can get it for like around 13,000 to 15,000 INR around. 200 ish less than 200 bucks which is a really good deal i mean the 3070 sells for around 30,000. uh that is like almost uh, 500 bucks okay editor orc over here so 30,000 inr is not really 500 bucks it's like around 360 or something stupid 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 and if you're trying to buy it new it will go like uh bonkers 600 bucks easy so in that situation this 2070 super seems like a good deal but let us check out whether the 3070 like humiliates it in games or is it like comparable. Okay, so I've pulled up Fortnite over here. So it's like high settings, DLSS set to performance for this chest. Everything is epic. I'm on DirectX 11 because DirectX 12 is extremely buggy. Okay, so how much are we getting? It's 114, okay, 80 or right over there. Uh, someone's over here. Someone's okay. He's right under here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He's trying to break this thing I'll just get down get down. Oh, what is going on? Come on. Okay. He's right over there Okay, we just landed a shot. Uh, let me just land some more that it there it goes I'm going to spread out of here because those animals are going to kill me if I do not do that All right, so I guess that's for it and right now we'll just set the LSS to off Okay, let's set the LSS to off or maybe you know what I'll just leave it on a uh, temporal anti using because I guess that that makes sense okay everything else is unaltered it's like a higher settings everything so how much so from around 80 we have we are down to like 60 65 over there 50 FPS right now because it has to render oh my goodness it's right in front of me Jesus Christ no oh, my entire shield is blown what is he doing how is he teleporting like that He's gonna kill me. I, I'm pretty sure that was a close call. Okay. Anyways, we are getting like 60 FPS, 66 is on average, and okay. So let us test control now. Okay. I'll set the render resolution to 480p. The else is turned on, so that means ultra performance. Everything else. Okay. This should be ultra. Everything else is set to like the highest possible, and yeah, with DLSS ultra performance, this game is extremely easy to run like you can see we are getting like 80 fps right now which is overtly acceptable the 1% 0.1% 1 .1 low numbers also look pretty good but well i have to say that the resolution of the game does look a bit off i mean you can clearly tell that uh some upscaling technology is being used over here i mean just look at the character's model the jacket right over there there's a bit of shimmering so you know what let's just try um, native resolution for once you can totally tell the difference but also there will be like a huge performance hit but anyways everything else will be set to ultra or even the ray tracing ones and well we are down to 30 35 over there 33 fps that is a huge hit but I mean, just look at how sharp this game looks. Just look at the character models, the environment, everything looks crisp. I mean, DLS is good and all, but if you want that crispness and that quality, you really have to just play at native resolution. I mean, but still, this game is very smooth. I mean, control at 30 FPS is a totally playable experience, like until you are getting into combat. So I guess that's that. Okay, moving on to the next game. It's cyberpunk, I'll turn off DLSS, everything else looks good. So it's the highest settings with ray tracing turned to medium. 
Um, I'll turn on reflections because uh, why not? Reflections are a great part of this game. And yeah, there you have it. 19 frames per second. Yeah, it's 20 right now. It is not playable. Uh, 2070 Super with ray tracing turned to medium at 1440p and you just straight up cannot play this game. So let us turn GLSS to ultra performance and check out what is the best case for this graphics card and boom, would you look at that, 68, 69 frames, nice, 67 right over there, it is impressive, it is impressive how much frames per second you can gain just by turning on GLSS and I mean in a game like this you really cannot tell the difference in sharpness and like control for some reason because uh, it must be using a, an updated version of DLSS or something, but this is totally playable. I mean, I can play DLSS at ultra performance in this game. Doable. Alright, time for some PlayStation port right now. It's Spider-Man. The graphics and settings are very high. And that's that. And, oh my goodness, this game looks so good. 65 frames over there, 70 plus right now. Uh, the 1.1% 1 1 load numbers do look a bit bad, but, I mean, you can live with that. You can live with that especially considering how good this game looks right over there and i mean you can say that it is a four year old game like it was released in 2018 but you'll have to keep in mind that the remastered version is out on pc and this looks so good so good just look at entire new york city it's rendering the almost the entirety of the map right now and we're getting like 50 plus frames per second what more could you want so let us just turn on the lss and i'll set it to like uh performance i guess the yeah, ultra performance looks good so let's check i mean there is a bit of a uh, downfall i mean there's a bit of a difference in the quality you can get but still 70 plus frames per second so the performance difference is not that much i mean it's playable i mean yeah 80 plus frames right over there you can turn on tlss but Oh my goodness, it's down to 40 frames per second. What is wrong? What is wrong? And if you turn on the LSS, the frames per second is actually going below than keeping the system on. So, weird. Okay, Uncharted Time, high settings. Let's check this game out. Um, 80 plus frames right out of the bat. I mean, this is a six year old game. It was remastered, character models are changed and stuff, but the difference is really not that much. I mean,. Okay, let's turn on the LSS uh, to performance right now and let's check. 110. Okay, 100 plus. We're tipping below 100. 105. Oh my goodness. I mean, that's chill. Uh, it's adding like 20 to 30 more frames without the LSS. 80 frames in Uncharted is completely playable. Like, keep in mind that this game was invented to be played in 30 FPS. Okay, time for some first-person shooters right now. Modern Warfare 2, I'll be testing it in like the highest settings and... Yeah, why doesn't it just set it to the highest possible in the game, right? Okay, everything is at the highest. Um, so once the DLS is turned on and once the DLS is turned off. So we are getting like around 60 frames per second, which is um, acceptable for a game like this, but you definitely need more and... Oh, okay, that was the close kill. That was the close kill. Another one. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to die right now. Goodness. Okay. Okay. I'll just go in and DLSS. Uh, let's set to ultra performance this time. Let's check how much of a performance difference it creates. 120 plus frames per second. That is, that is remarkable. Like straight up twice the performance. Oh my goodness, 130 right now, 130, okay, I died right over there, but yeah, anyway, this performance is totally acceptable, like 120 plus frames, it straight up delivers twice the performance, okay, the like to Rakim right now, everything will be set to the highest quality like always, GLS is turned off for the first run, I'll set it to ultra quickly, and everything else looks good, here we go, I mean this game looks impeccable, and we're getting how much? 31 frames like 30 frames in this game is completely fine you can see that you're running it at the highest settings with dlss turned off and you are also running it like quad hd so 1440p at this game is playable totally totally doable but this is also like a less intense scene like from what i've seen play to frame rates could go bad 
But yeah, let's turn on the LSS and check how much of a performance difference that creates. I'll set it to ultra performance right over there. You also have reflex low latency in this game. I don't know why the developers put this low latency in this game. It's completely useless. But yeah, anyways, you are getting twice the performance as with DLSS turned off. So we're almost uh, 60 frames per second right now. The average is even higher. The 1 and 0.12% low numbers also look good. And I mean, uh, the game looks sharp. Like, even with ultra performance, like, obviously, you can see some shimmering in the trees and the, in the shrubs right over there. But this is totally playable, dude. All right. Time for some Witcher 3, keep in mind that I heavily modded this game, so it is a lot more intensive than it generally is. And okay, high settings, let's check this thing. 70 frames right out of the bat, 71, 72 right over there, but the 1 and 0.1% low numbers do look bad. Uh, but the game is, yeah, it's smooth, it's playable. Obviously, I'm like, uh, not in a very intensive area of this game. I had to restart it after loading the mods and I do not feel like playing the story all over again. But yeah. Okay, let's try something different right now. F1 2022. Uh, I'm going to test the first time with like DLS is turned off and ray tracing turned on. Oh my goodness, this music might be copyrighted. Anyways, we're getting like 40, 45 frames right over there, which is good. Like, yeah, you can play this game, but this is also F1. 30 FPS should suffice, but if you're getting like 40 frames, that should be enough in this game. I mean, the frame rate is fairly, fairly stable. We are a few frame drops here and there. Okay, let's just uh, set the LSS performance right over there and test this game. All right, that is more than twice the frame rate. So we're getting how much? 42, 43. Right now, it's almost 100. 98 right over there. 100, 100. We're getting 100 frames per second, dude. DLSS is it. DLSS is extremely impressive. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to test it with DLSS turned off and ray tracing turned off for a w Okay, ray tracing turned. Let's test this with ray tracing turned off and you can. Oh my goodness, 140 frames right over there. And this game is fairly easy to play. It depends on your CPU mostly because it's a CPU intensive game. But yeah, anyways. 100 plus frames per second you can easily get it with uh ray tracing turned off and stuff you do not need ray tracing in this game to be honest all right next game up is spider-man miles morales i'm just going to set it to the highest settings with dlss turned off in the first ride and oh wow 50 plus frames per second i mean this goes on to prove that the rtx 2070 super is like uh, an equivalent to the gpu find in the playstation the playstation can run this game with like at the highest settings uh, at 60 frames per second and we're pretty much getting like a similar number over here all right let's set the lss to ultra performance and test it once i mean the game looks sharp at least when you're not moving it looks sharp but when you start moving DLSS starts to show that it is not perfect. Look at those trees right over there. They have become foggy for some reason. <laughs> and also, uh, just like Spider-Man 2018, uh, the frame rate has gone down. So instead we are getting like 50, 55 frames. We're getting like only 40 right now. I don't understand, but turning on DLSS reduces the performance in Spider-Man games for some reason. So that's that. So that was all for the video game benchmarks to the RTX 2070 Super. We also did run some synthetic benchmarks that we will be sharing in the 3070 comparison video. But that is all for this video right now. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.